15 surprising reasons why the royal family has a high divorce rate. The royal family is known for wealth, honor, and respect. But sadly, so many marriages within the royal family don't last. In the last few years, and even in the past, we've seen many promising marriages within the royal family fail. Which brings us to the question, why do they fail? In this video, we provide 15 reasons why royal family marriages fail, so stick around. Number 1. Public Scrutiny The royal family garners a lot of public focus, especially from those in the UK. The royal family is the number one family in the United Kingdom. They feed on British taxpayers' money. This has consequently made them wealthy and influential. Having said that, it's important to point out that the level of public focus on the British family is enormous. It's one of the reasons why the marriage of Princess Diana and Charles failed. It's argued that it's also the reason why Princess Diana and her boyfriend Dodi Al-Fayed died in the car crash in 1997. According to an official report, it was recorded they were being pursued by paparazzi who were looking to get a shot of Diana, which unknowingly and unintentionally led to the accident that caused Princess Diana's death. This example shows how public focus and the celebrity status of the royal family are taking a toll on their lives and marriages. This is why you may have noticed the successful marriages in the royal family are usually out of public focus. For example, the marriage of Prince William and Princess Catherine has largely been out of public focus as the two have managed to keep much of their private lives private, with a few exceptions. This could be the main reason their marriage is thriving. This makes it easier for them to control the narrative when issues do come to light. Number 2. Lack of Privacy Privacy is not something the royal family gets a lot of due to their royal and celebrity status. Information concerning royal family members spreads like wildfire and it's often difficult to contain. The issue of privacy is of utmost concern to the new generation of royal family members because they've seen how the lack of privacy's wrecked many promising royal marriages in the past. The lack of privacy makes it difficult for them to keep family secrets or control the narrative on issues that arise for the family. They're often faced with anonymous individuals leaking their family secrets. This breeds mistrust which further puts a strain on their relationships. A typical example of how lack of privacy led to the breakdown of marriage in the royal family is seen in the marriage of Princess Diana to King Charles. It seemed there was always one anonymous source leaking information, which undermined the trust between the couple, consequently leading to the failure of the marriage. The main effect of lack of privacy is that it undermines trust, making it difficult to have an intimate relationship. The constant media attention on some marriages in the royal family is strenuous. Number 3. Marrying for the Wrong Reasons Another reason why marriages in the royal family fail is that many of them marry for the wrong reasons. It's actually a common occurrence within the royal family as many of them marry for the wrong reasons. They don't marry for love, but for status' sake or class' sake. Marriages are a thing of convenience or a way to establish status. Rarely, a royal marriage is ever purely out of love. There's often an ulterior motive. This means that more often than not, royal family members choose partners based on status and not compatibility. It's no surprise that this would cause issues down the line. Many royal family marriages have experienced this sort of strain, which causes undue stress on the couple eventually leading to a separation and divorce. A compatible relationship takes enough work as it is, but maintaining one born out of status and necessity is much harder. Number 4. Infidelity is an issue in the royal family Due to the celebrity status of members of the royal family, it appears that infidelity is a big issue within the family. It's not really a surprise, especially considering what we mentioned earlier about marriages being born out of necessity rather than compatibility. The royal family is very well known around the world, therefore many individuals are waiting in the wings for their shot. This public recognition is more likely to leave royal family members in compromising situations, which often results in infidelity. 
the undeniable fact here is that there are many, many opportunities to cheat as a royal family member, and past instances dictate that it's not easy for many to maintain faithfulness. Number 5. Pressure to produce an heir Another reason why many marriages in the royal family fail is that some of these marriages have undue pressure to produce an heir. The royal family members are known to preserve the integrity of their bloodline by ensuring that their bloodline in pure blood hold on to power forever. This pressure to produce an heir of pure blood has led many of the members of the royal family to marry the wrong partner. For example, Meghan Markle, the wife of Prince Harry, surprised the world with a recent revelation of how some royal family members discriminated against her son, Archie. Meghan claimed that some members of the royal family claimed that the child was not white enough, and there was speculation that he might be overlooked in the line of succession because of this. This was one of the many issues Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stated when they chose to step away from their duties as working royals. As of today, Meghan and her husband Prince Harry are not on good terms with the royal family. Number 6. Strict Protocols The British royal family is rooted in tradition and protocols, which they follow religiously. Their cultures and protocols are age-old and is expected that once you join the royal family through marriage, you're expected to follow these strict rules and protocols too. For example, members of the royal family are known to have fewer freedoms, they're known to live a conservative life, and are very picky when it comes to the choice of food and clothes they wear. At first glance, these rules may seem surface level and simple to follow in exchange for the life of luxury that royal family members live. However, setting aside one's own beliefs, tastes, and hobbies, all for the good of the royal family is no easy feat. Everything each member does is scrutinized by the media and deconstructed for meaning and purpose. The pressure on members of the royal family is not only coming from the media, but from the institution itself. It's a lifestyle that many have proven is much harder than one may think to live. Number 7. Constant Travel Another reason why royal family members probably have issues in their marriage is that they travel a lot. You might be wondering what that's got to do with a successful marriage. Well, it has everything to do with it. This is because members of the royal family are often traveling in separate directions to different events than their partners. This means they spend a lot of time apart and couples with several of the reasons mentioned above could spell disaster as the couples don't get much time to spend together for intimacy or to strengthen their connection. While members of the royal family often attend their own events and functions, they do sometimes travel together as well. It's just that their duties often pull them in opposite directions, which means they spend a lot more time apart than together. Number 8. Demands of Duty The royal family is the number one family in the UK. Although most of their roles are primarily ceremonial in that they do not have much governmental or administrative work to do, they still have ceremonial duties, which are sometimes enormous especially for prominent members of the royal family, like the monarch, the monarch-in-waiting, and other high-ranking members of the family. Because of their sometimes busy schedule, which among other things may include traveling to represent the UK or the interests of the Commonwealth, they'd be spending some time away from home. That is, they'd be alone, traveling, or attending many royal family duties at the expense of their families. This often puts a strain on the union as it means royals are away from their families for extended periods. The overall implication is that they may need more time to bond with their partners. This is why you would notice in some marriages in the royal family, after some time, there is usually a serious deficiency of intimacy which eventually ruins the union. Number 9. Cultural Differences Apart from the fact that many members of the royal family do not have enough time to bond since they have so many duties, which may include constantly traveling alone, another issue plaguing a royal family marriage is that many of them marry someone from a different culture. Cultural differences, which of course shouldn't be an issue, have been found to affect the longevity of some marriages in the royal family. The fact is, 
culture should not affect marital bliss, but in the royal family, it's a big deal. This is because unlike other families, the royal family is so loud on culture and they want every other member of the royal family to stick to the culture of the institution, including those just joining by marriage. This is the reason why some who come into the family through marriage often have issues. They have issues adjusting to the culture of the royal family. A typical example of this is seen in the marriage of Meghan Markle to Prince Harry. Although the two did not divorce due to cultural differences, Meghan Markle could not find her place within the royal family's culture, which affected her mental health and ultimately led to her and Prince Harry stepping away from their royal duties. Number 10. Family Pressures Another factor that affects the success of marriages in the royal family is family pressure. It's important to know that joining the royal family, especially through marriage, can sometimes be overwhelming as it comes with a lot of undue pressure. A royal family is a close-knit group, and there can be pressure for family members to conform to certain expectations. And so if you're not the type that can easily handle pressure, you might struggle to fit into the family. This must have affected Princess Diana. When Diana got married to Charles, she was young and there were so many expectations from the family put on her. This pressure and constant demand from the family probably contributed to some of the strain on her relationship with Charles. However, she couldn't live up to it. This would mean that staying in the royal family or keeping your marriage would require some level of maturity to cope with the demand coming from the royal family. Number 11. Media Intrusion As earlier mentioned, the royal family has a lot of public spotlight on them. And this is because the media loves reporting on what's going on. This has a way of undermining the bond between married couples in the royal family, especially if they're the current subject of interest in the media. Having intimate details between a couple leaked to the media anonymously is common practice and breeds mistrust and can easily drive a wedge between a couple without a strong foundation. The amount of media intrusion into the private lives of the royal family is a big challenge and likely contributes in a big way to the breakdown of certain royal marriages. Media intrusion opens the marriage to undue public scrutiny and unnecessary interference from outside forces. This is probably why Prince William's tried everything possible to take his family out of the media. He probably believes the sustainability of his marriage hinges on preventing media intrusion into his private life, and rightfully so. Number 12. Public Image Another factor that could be responsible for some marriage failures in the royal family is public image. This is fairly similar to the point that was raised earlier about how pressure from the institution has a way of affecting marriage. Part of the added pressure that members of the royal family who joined through marriage have immediately placed on them is the expectation to maintain the family image or the public image of the family. This in itself is huge and overwhelming. This requires, this requires some level of maturity and experience and is probably why more often than not, the royal family prefers marriage to high-profile individuals who can align and protect the family image. Aside from class differences, people who are also introverted or private may struggle to maintain the public image of the family, which would constitute a big problem. The truth is, public image is so important to the royal family that they spend a lot of money employing people to maintain their good public image. If anyone gets into the royal family and is not able to maintain it, he or she would most likely fall out eventually. Number 13. High-Profile Lifestyle Members of the royal family live high-profile lifestyles. The royal family is a family of wealth, honor, and respect. As such, they're known to live a flamboyant lifestyle that costs British taxpayers millions of pounds per year. Consequently, for you to live and survive with the royal family, you must be able to maintain a high-profile lifestyle. The implication of this is that people who are not likely to understand this lifestyle would not be considered for marriage, and if they are married, it may not last. This would only mean one thing. Many people are attracted to the royal family because of the wealth, fame, and flamboyant lifestyle rather than for love. 
This could easily explain to some extent why some marriages within the royal family don't last. Number 14. Lack of Support Another reason why marriages fail in the royal family is that there's not enough support for couples in the institution. The late Princess Diana complained about this when she was still married to King Charles. She said that during her struggle with mental health, she didn't have enough support from the royal family. This, according to her, made her lose confidence in herself and caused the marriage to fail. The fact that people may need support at a particular phase of life exists, but sadly, Members of the royal family who face challenges don't have adequate access to help, advice, and support. This has led to the breakdown of marriages within the royal family, as Charles and Diana did. Number 15. Lack of Preparation Lack of preparation can be a problem that could contribute to marital distress. This is because marriage is not something anyone should rush into without adequate preparation. Preparation in this context does not refer to financial preparation. Of course not, because the royal family has a lot of money. There's no need to prepare in terms of money. The major preparation which is often responsible for marriage failure is emotional and mental preparation. We've said it earlier that marriage in the royal family comes with a lot of pressure. To cope with this, a strong mental and emotional foundation must be built to cope with the pressures of the institution. We've seen this affect the marriage of King Charles to Princess Diana and Prince Harry to Meghan Markle. In both cases, it was evident that both Diana and Meghan were not mentally and emotionally ready to handle the pressure of the royal family. This cost Diana her marriage and Meghan her mental health. She and Prince Harry are now estranged from the royal family and living in the US. We could keep listing reason upon reason why marriages fail in the royal family, but one thing's for sure. Each of the reasons shared in this video has equally affected one or more marriages in the royal family. We can only hope that things will change for the better. With that, we've come to the end of the video. We hope you've learned a thing or two. Feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section, and be sure to check out our next video. Bye for now!